monohybrid cross. So let's say for example we have big B were to be black and small b were to be white. What would you get if you cross a homozygous dominant black with a homozygous recessive? So first you put them on the Punnett square and over here you have one big B and one small b and it looks like here you have one big B and one small b and so they're all the same. So 100% of them the phenotype will be black because big B is dominant which leads to 100% big B small b also known as all heterozygous. So let's say what happened when you cross a big B small b with a big B small b. That means you cross two heterozygous. So here's one. You put out the Leo. And here's the other. So for the first one, you have a big B and a big B. This one, you have big B small b. Down here, you have a small b small b. So this is what you'll get you get what is called a genotype of 1, 2 to 1 ratio. You have one homozygous dominant, two heterozygous, and one homozygous recessive. So in, let's say, animal, if you have a uh, black versus white, and if you, both of the animal are heterozygous, you'll get one that is black, two more that is black, and only one that's white. So chance of getting white is 1 out of 4, chance of getting black is 3 out of 4. So the phenotype is 75% black or 3 out of 4, and for white is 1 out of 4. Okay, let's work backward this time. So let's say we cross an unknown with one that we do know, which is heterozygous, I mean homozygous, let's call this one short and all of the children are tall. So we know that all the children are tall, they must have at least a small t inside of it, which comes from this. So can you guess what the parents are? The other parents? The other parents would be big T and big T. So here you get a big T, small t come from this parents. So two parents, one is homozygous dominant crossed with a homozygous recessive, you have 100% tall that are heterozygous. This we call is a test cross. The purpose of a test cross is to determine in one of the unknown parents. If one of the parents already known and we know the offspring, then we can figure out the other parents. So in a test cross, you always have to use homozygous recessive. You cannot use a dominant. It has to be recessive. Let's figure out. Let's see what happens if that's not the case. So let's say we do a test cross. We have a parent we know that is homozygous dominant. So each parent would give, so one of the parents would give one T in each. Can we figure out what the other parent is? We know that the phenotype is going to be 100% tall. So that means it could be big T, big T, or it could be big T, small T. So if the other parents were recessive, then it would be big T, small t. But if the other parents were homozygous dominant, it could be big T, big T. So a test cross, you can't use dominant to figure out the unknown. You have to use recessive. It allows you to work backward. So the other parents is a homozygous dominant. Now let's do a test cross where we know the uh, genotype of the offspring, but we don't know the parents. So one parent have to give a big G and the other parents have to give a small G. And same thing over here. So one of the parents will give two big G and the other parents will give two small G. And if that didn't work, you can always mess around with it and tell which one works. Since there's only a few possibilities, so just play around with it. Not that hard. And that's a test cross. Energizer. The Energizer bunny has been arrested. It's charged with battery. 
What do you prefer, Duracell or Energizer?